Keeping fit is everyone's business, even students like you. Join me, grade 10 students, and let's learn the basic movements of street and hip-hop dance by watching this video lesson. Together! Let us enjoy the health benefits of dancing. Call on to your family members and move to the groove of the said dance styles. I am Ma'am Vanessa S. De Guzman, your Physical Education 10 teacher. Welcome to the world of dance. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to 1. Describe street dance and hip-hop dance styles. 2. Analyze the effects of media and technology on fitness and physical activities. 3. Performs or choreographs street or hip-hop dance. 4. Applies correct techniques to minimize risk of injuries. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, let us have a pre-test first. Are you ready? Look at the pictures closely and arrange the scrambled letters to form the words that collectively describe them. Number 1 Yes, you are right. The answer is street dance. Number 2 Wow, you got it again! The answer is street dance style. Number three. Good job! The correct answer is examples of a street dance. Number four. You nailed it! It's hip hop dance. Number 5 Perfect! The answer is Origin of Hip Hop Great job students! Now you have the basic information about our topic for today Now let's have a review of our previous lesson Show a thumbs up if the statement is correct and a thumbs down if the statement is wrong. 1. Dance is one of the best exercises in order to achieve a healthy body. Thumbs up. Dancing helps the mind to have longer memory in terms of memorizing the steps and also improves flexibility as the body moves in different directions and styles. Another thumbs up. 3. Dance causes stress to people as it needs to memorize dance steps. Thumbs down. Hip-hop dance style is based on the technique of quickly contracting and relaxing muscles to cause a jerk in a dancer's body. Thumbs up. Number 5. Dancing people tend to lose weight but decreases their energy while performing. Thumbs down. Congratulations! You fully understand the lesson that we had. To start our lesson, let us define street dance and hip-hop dance. What is a street dance? Street dance refers to dance styles that have evolved outside of dance studios. It is performed in the streets, dance parties, parks,
schoolyards, or in any available space. How about hip-hop dance? Hip-hop is a cultural movement best known for its impact on music in the form of musical genre of the same name. It has its origins in the Bronx in New York City during the 1970s, mostly among African Americans and some influence of Latin Americans. Hip-hop culture is composed of the pillars such as DJing, rapping, breakdancing, and graffiti art. How to do the street and hip-hop dance? Let's learn the basic steps of the said dance styles. Come on! Try to imitate the dance moves as you watch the video. B-boying B-boying or breaking, also called breakdancing, is a style of a street dance. In the first hip-hop dance style that originated among Black and Puerto Rican youths in New York City during the early 1970s. The one who performs a beast dance is called a b-boy, b-girl, or breaker. Although the term breakdance is frequently used to refer to this dance, b-boying and breaking are the original terms. It includes body spins and rotations. Here's a basic step of b-boying. Popping. Popping was popularized by Samuel Boogaloo, Sam Solomon, and his crew, the Electric Boogaloos. It is based on the technique of quickly contracting and relaxing muscles to cause a jerk in a dancer's body. Popping forces parts of your body outwards, similar to an explosion within parts of your body. Popping also contracts muscle, but it is followed by relaxation that gives it the jerking appearance of popping. Locking Locking or Camp Bell Locking was created by Don Campbell Lock Campbell in 1969 in Los Angeles, California. It was popularized by his crew, the Lockers. Locking can be identified by its distinctive stops. The lock is the primary move used in locking. It is similar to a freeze or a sudden pause. A locker's dancing is characterized by frequently locking in place and after a brief freeze, moving again. Here's a simple step of popping and locking. Crumping Crumping is a form of dancing that originated in the African-American community of South Central Los Angeles, California, and is a relatively new form of the urban black dance movement. It is free, expressive, and highly energetic. Here's a basic step of crumping. Totting. Totting is a creative way of making geometric shapes, forming right angle using your body parts. The style was originally practiced by young funk dancers. It is derived from the positions people were drawn in during the days of the ancient Egyptians. It is the positions seen in these portraits that have been adopted by dancers today. Totting is still a greatly respected move, and King Tutaka Mark Benson is widely acclaimed for pioneering the style. Shuffling The Melbourne Shuffle, also known as rocking or simply the shuffle, is a rave and club dance 
that originated in the late 1980s in the underground rave music scene in Melbourne, Australia. The basic movements in the dance are a fast heel and toe action with a style suitable for various types of electronic music. Here's a basic step of shuffling. Walking Walking is an African-American form of street dance originating from the 1970s disco era of the underground club scenes in Los Angeles and New York City. Walking is consists of stylized posing and fast synchronized arm movements to the beat of the music. Today, walking is a popular element of hip-hop dance. Here's a basic step of walking. Effects of media and technology. Advanced technology is being used to promote physical and change exercise behavior. Examples of these newer technologies and approaches are exercise gadgets, training regimens, exercise modalities, and exercise machines such as treadmill, stationary bike, stair climber, and machine weights. These innovations, when used properly with adequate knowledge and guidance, are very helpful in improving one's health. Pedometer is an instrument and physical activity tool that estimates the distance traveled on foot by counting and recording the number of steps taken by an individual. When it comes to dancing, it is learned through visual means. It is created by putting together independent moves into one free-flowing motion that mimics fluidity to achieve harmony. How can dance injuries be prevented? Number 1. Eat well and stay hydrated before, during, and after training. Number 2. Get enough rest and avoid overtraining. 3. Do cross-training exercises to build strength and endurance in all parts of your body. 4. Always wear proper shoes and attire. 5. Always warm up before training or performance and have cool-down activities. 6. Lead a healthy lifestyle and get to know your body. And so for your activity, create a simple dance routine at least 1-2 to two minutes. Applying common styles in street dance like b-boying, popping, locking, shuffling, cutting, and walking. If possible, watch a video on how to perform the following moves or ask any family members to help you practicing it. Please be reminded to be careful when practicing and performing to avoid injury. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and activity. See you again on the next video lesson. Thank you and God bless.